today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. They have an amazing skincare collection that will make your skin and your soul look amazing. Their personal mission in life is to make your skin glow. From the Super Duo to the Multitasking Tint Moisturizer to even their new Enchanted Bloom collection, everything that they offer is just perfection. So if you want to get your products, make sure to go to the link on the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 and 20% off. So get your products right now. Jibu Beauty, inspired by dreams, made for reality. Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another day full of tea. I hope every single one of you is having an amazing day on this Thursday, girl. Yes, Thursday is here. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, so I'm hoping every single one of you is getting ready to go cray cray on this weekend because that's just what we do here. Am I right? Girl, it is time to talk about Vanderpump Rules and Scandal, okay? Because there's still things going on. Now, we're not gonna be talking about the last episode just yet, although it was very, like, shocking. And I think Andy Cohen was telling all the truth, you know, about how we're gonna, like, see or watch this episode now that with everything we know. Like, there were parts that you were like, OMG WTF, you know, but we're going to be discussing that on a whole other video probably tomorrow because I am full of tea right now. Girl, we need to talk about what is going to happen with the reunion of Vanderpump Rules now that this little girl is decided to, you know, put the restraining order against Sheena Shea and we're getting like a little bit more of like information. So it is a mess is what it is okay what this girl did putting that restraining order was create a mess for everyone it's like she said like hmm how could i make the world hate on me more you know and then she was like yeah i'm gonna do that because with this restraining order like in place it really complicates everything especially if you want to really act like a karen right so this is the, this is the thing as you know she was like, oh, like, oh, my God, she hit me. Oh, my God, I'm so afraid for my life, you know, and she went on and did the whole restraining order. And now uh, the reunion is supposed to, to be filmed, I think, the 23rd of March, if I'm right. But then, like, the hearing for the restraining order is on the 29th, you know, and in theory, when you put a restraining order against someone, that person cannot be close to you, cannot be like, uh, it has to be like a hundred yards away or something like that. And it cannot communicate directly with you or using someone else to communicate with you. Like, it's basically like, I like, do not talk to me, do not come close to me, like absolutely nothing. But then we have the reunion and the reunion, it's all about talking and confrontation and like say what you need to say okay now there has been this copy of the restraining order like basically going around that she couldn't like like mark two you know little uh, boxes and one of them it's kind of like oh just like keep her away and the other one is about like contact you know and people were saying like well she didn't mark the box when it says that the other person cannot contact her, you know? But it's still the first box on the restraining order, it still says that Sheena could not like cause any distress or any com confrontation or like basically don't say anything or do anything to um, Rachel, you know? Um, so this is where we are, apparently, if this happens, 
Sheena and Rachel will not be able to be under the same roof legally, you know? Now, they're saying like, okay, one of them could zoom in, which could be true, but whoever is going to zoom in, I mean, then they, they still cannot have a conversation between of them directly. How is that even going to work? Now, I know that, you know, we're going to be there to, like, discuss Scandal, you know, and discuss the affair and, like, everything that really is going to go down. But, like, Raquel, it's literally in the middle of the whole season. Even if we, if we were not going to talk about Scandal, like, like, she still was the one messing with Tom Schwartz, which is still with like kissing Oliver, you know, and Peter and doing the most and doing the random, you know, comments. So it's still everything is going to be against her. So basically this restraining order, is kind of like Sheena will not be able to address Raquel directly, you know, like she couldn't not say anything to her or she could not like, let's say, tell I don't know, Lala to tell her to do anything. It will be like super weird. But at the same time, if we say like, okay, let's don't have Sheena at the reunion, it's kind of like very unfair to Sheena because she's still a very big part of this, of this uh, situation. She was the one, you know, uh, who also got very betrayed by Raquel because she was always you know, kind of like being her friend and, and pushing for her, you know, and being like, I got you, you know, we're in this together. And now, and, and now she's, she supposedly cannot say anything. I mean, at this point, I'm thinking, why are we going to have a reunion under these circumstances? Not that the reunion needs to be uh, not happen. No, I think that they honestly, they should wait for, you know, the court hearing of uh, the restraining order. And if it is not granted, then do the reunion. But at least wait that couple more days because from the 23rd to the 29th, it's only like six days. So like, why not wait those six days and see if there is a possibility to do this reunion well, you know? Now, people, there are people saying, well, maybe Rachel should not be at the reunion, but that also doesn't make any sense because Rachel is the one who caused all of this bullshit, you know? So she should be there to take accountability for her actions. Now, let's be honest. It's, Bravo is not going to allow anyone to go physical on Rachel. It's just not going to happen, right? But she should be there. And she should take the hit from everyone because she betrayed absolutely every single person in, in here. Now, the lawyer, um, Sheena Shea's lawyer, uh, also, also like come forward and basically said about the reunion, it says it just can happen in a meaningful way while the others, while the order is in place. The attorney told page six uh, on Wednesday of the reunion, which is currently scheduled to be filmed on March 23rd. The temporary restraining order, as it stands now, currently prohibits Sheena from being within 100 yards of Rachel so they can not both be physically present at the reunion. Um, Rahmani explains that they, there really is no mechanism to modify this type of temporary civil restraining order before the March 29 court hearing. So the reunion, at least having them all together in person, is certainly in jeopardy. He foresees that one of the TV personalities appearing via Zoom and the other attending in person. However, the lawyers note Sheena still can communicate with Rachel either directly or through an intermedi intermediary. Um, I think that the right thing to do, it will be for... I just I don't know. I think it, it will be very it will be very weird. Um, I don't know. I think that maybe Sheena could be the one on Zoom, and then you know when she, when it's Sheena's time to talk, like remove Rachel. I mean something like that. You know. I mean I don't know. I don't know. It it doesn't sit well with me. I think both of them should be there. I think everyone should be there. 
you know, I think, you know what, bring Kristen, bring Jax, bring Stasi, bring everyone, you know, and everyone should have an opinion of this, okay, because this is affecting the whole world. I will have a live panel right there taking questions from the fans, you know, <laughs> to, to, to that, to this girl, because it is, is insane at this point. So anyways, the reunion is in jeopardy, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they found out a way to make it happen. And I cannot deal anymore with Raquel, okay? I just want to see her there. I just want to see her take the, the hit. I don't want to, I just want to see her like take any, some accountability, you know? And then leave forever or screens because I don't think she deserves to be on Vanderpump Rules any longer, you know? Now, I know some of you are, are saying, like, what about Tom Sandoval? I agree, you know, like, maybe Tom Sandoval should also leave Vanderpump Rules for good. But like I have been saying in another videos, Tom Sandoval has more connections with the show itself, specifically having a restaurant with Lisa Vanderpump, you know? So there is going to be more complicated to vanish Tom Sandoval than to vanish uh, Raquel, Raquel Rachel, you know? So anyways, but both of them should go. But at least I will be happy if just Rachel leave this chat because, yeah, you bye. So anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. How would you have the reunion happening? Let me know. And if you want to get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are very close to 30K. So please subscribe right now. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.